Good, beautiful morning. A uh, little cloudy here in northern Indiana. Uh, 31 though, warmed up here. It's it's gonna warm up next few days and uh, kind of give us a little bit of a break, but then next week get back down, be cold again. But, uh, you know, just drop my son off, uh, doing some office stuff today again. Um, maybe getting to work on the building again, uh, trying to put the walls up, get that finished. Um, and, and really, you know, winter time for us, this is, it's mid January, uh, for us here in Northern Indiana is just a break for a few months. Um, I go to a hybrid work schedule where we work three days a week. Uh, I, I will pick up an extra appointment or two if I need to, if, if somebody can't fit within the three days we're trying to work. Um, but that's just something I, I kind of, you know, overall happiness of what you do, I, I think is important to, the, it, it's, it's, senseless for us to just come in eight hours a day just to come in eight hours a day so um we work my brother and i just you know we work if, if it takes 10 hours it takes 10 hours it takes two hours it takes two hours is what it is so and it, it just gives us a break uh because we work so much from basically april to beginning of november i mean we, it's just go 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 uh march you know we're really finalizing prepping of all of our equipment uh, making sure all that's good to go because most of the time, mid-March, we're starting to do exteriors again, do exterior treatments. So um, I'm going to roll into a couple of uh, spliced together videos here from an, a, a treatment we did a few years ago. Um, and you'll see, I mean, there's lots of bugs, bed bugs on these beds, mattresses, box springs. And it is a great example of, you know, every people like roaches they say oh there's there's you know a colony um bed bugs you know are not a social insect meaning they don't have a social hierarchy like an ant or a termite would um they live in common areas because those areas are ideal for them lots of times they're on the tufts underneath of the box spring that's right against the bed frame so they're in that you know the left right bottom corners most of the time or they'll be on the wood slats a lot because they'll come up bed bugs feed once every seven to ten days uh, and then they'll just go and they'll chill and hang out until it's next feeding time and they don't like to be disturbed so they'll crawl up the headboard they'll crawl up the curtain uh, behind the bed or a couch uh, they'll crawl underneath the bed frame, box spring, mattress, just hang out. As long as that CO2 is being emitted, they know that there's still a, a regular food source there. So uh, this, these videos show a really good example of as we're prepping a house, going through room by room, you know, we'll kind of raise the mattresses up, the box springs, vacuum as we go, set them off, do, do that type service. Um, and it just makes it, you know, we have our system. It's nice and efficient. And, and the vacuum has been a game changer for us. Uh, we've been using the vacuum for um, almost since I started on my own. So uh, it was something I've wanted for a long time. Uh, we're one of the only companies in the area that uses one. And it's just another one of those having as many tools at your disposal as possible, uh, utilizing them as best as possible. Um, a, a vacuum, you know, uh, so... Our process is, is we will vacuum and then uh, after we vacuum, we chemically treat. And my thought process has always been, if you can eliminate them with the vacuum permanently, and this goes for people at home, if you're dealing with an issue or if they're waiting until we can get there in a few days, the vacuum removes them permanently. There, there's no question on whether or not the product is gonna work on them, uh, product being chemical or pesticide. And, and so, um, it, it to me it's a no-brainer and, and so ever since we've added the vacuum our retreatments have gone way down our efficiency has gone up because it actually allows us to be much more efficient when we treat because what people don't realize is um bed bugs can be so thick in certain spots that i guarantee when you treat you know along those sewn seams according to label um I don't think product gets down to the bottom on some of those. So if you're not using a vacuum, you're actually not doing the best job you can do. And I, you know, um, I'm not here to, to, you know, rag on any company, how they choose to do things. You know, you've made your decisions on why you want to do things, but, um, so just eliminating them altogether, there's no question on, did those get treated with the product? Are they going to walk across the product later? You know, uh, if you're using a residual product, and so it just, and it cleans it up, it cleans things up nicer. And it's easier for us when we go back then to do a redo rather than having, as you'll see in these videos, 
hundreds of bed bugs on a mattress or a box spring, it's very clear to us when we go back to retreat, how's our progress? Um, and, and before, uh, before the vacuum, you couldn't tell that. I mean, there'd just be a pile of dead bugs there. You think you don't know. And so, uh, the vacuum is very, very important when it comes to bed bug control, uh, and treatment in my opinion. Um, and so, uh, yeah, make it a great day. I'll roll into these videos, uh, just so you have an idea of bad infestations. I, I would guess this is, these are the infestations as you start to approach a year. Uh, a year of bed bugs, so like that six months to a year, just depending on how many people are in, active food sources, uh, etc. And so this will kind of show that when it goes unchecked. The, the people at the time did nothing to slow them at all, meaning they didn't vacuum, they didn't get any over-the-counter spray and spray it themselves. So this is a really good example. These three videos here um, that I just kind of recorded as we went through the rooms will show you um, and it's, it can be shocking the amount, and we see this amount of bed bugs regularly, uh, when we go into places. So, um, yeah, check the videos out, drop a comment down below. If you have any, have any questions or anything like that, I uh, would love to, uh, answer any of those questions. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there, um, or just curiosity in general. So, uh, enjoy. A lot of bed bug larvae along here. All these white specks are larvae. And of course, we have a lot of adult bed bugs. Get my flashlight there. And all of them in there. They're running from the light. There we go. See them better. But pretty bad one. But we'll get it taken care of. Still continuing to work on this one. And we found the mother load. Hundreds and hundreds on this box spring, but we're gonna treat them, get them taken care of. There will be no more. Here we are uh, doing a bed bug job. As you can see, there's a ton of bed bugs on the bottom of this box spring. But we have our new toy here. We have a nice new backpack vacuum. This is going to help us be much more efficient and take care of these bed bugs in a much more efficient and better manner.